Airbeefs is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Well, it is Friday, so let's have a little bit of fun. And Calm Zoo is getting ready to celebrate its 37th birthday tomorrow. And joining us this morning is Lana Fain, Calm Zoo manager. And as always, you know, we're so excited when you come on because you always bring us, uh, you know, incredible guests to, uh, you know, to kind of talk about. But obviously, because of everything that's going on, we're going to do this virtually. But who did you, uh, who'd you bring us today? Well, we don't have any animals today because I know we had sent over a Oh, no animals. Photos. I do have some of the treats that they're going to get if you'd like to see those. Um, you know, it's going to oh, be Oh yeah, sure. It's going to be a great birthday. We we weren't able to have spring fling, which is always a bunch of fun, and I just thought we've got we we've got to have our birthday one way or the other. So, you know, we thought about it and we this is what we're going to do. And I think everybody is going to really enjoy it. We're not only going to have current pictures videos uh, you know of the animals receiving their 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 birthday gifts the birthday cakes and everything else but we're also going to do some you know pictures from the past as well which are really cool to see now obviously you know things are looking a little different right now um you know yes. we can't you know we can't uh, uh you know the zoo is closed of course but what can we do to celebrate with you guys well, what, one of the things uh, that we're going to post early is a lot of people have asked us, you know, how can I help? We, we want to help still. How can I help? Uh, we are going to have a donation button that you can, you can hit. Uh, it'll be to the left of the screen. And if people would like to donate uh, for the day or even past that, you can do that on our Facebook page as well as our website. We do have a donation um, uh, spot on our website that you can donate as well. That, that always helps. Uh, people have called ahead of time and dropped stuff through the gate for us. Um, you know, just the support that we're seeing from all the feedback from our videos and everything really, you know, really helps. It's like, you know, we want everybody to know we're still here. And by the same token, we want to know everybody's still out there and uh, keeping tabs on us as well. You know, Lana, I, I've, I've got to ask you because I know that Calm is experiencing a little bit of loss today, you know, over the last couple of days because you've lost, uh, you've lost Draco. Can you tell us a little bit about, about Draco, the owl? Oh, Alex. <laughs> um, he was a favorite, so um, he was my favorite, my personal favorite. He was the only one that I, you probably ever saw me bring on Channel 17. The only great horn, uh, although we have other great horn owls out here. He was with the 17 years. Um, he was not only a staff favorite, the community loved him. You know, we were talking about it and yeah. you know, we had said, who else, what other owl gets love letters <laughs> left at their enclosures? And <laughs> we were uh, anonymously, we were finding these little beautifully drawn um, from a child uh, love letters uh, with. Um, you know, she would draw uh, him, uh, she would draw some of the other animals, but it was always, Draco was always in the picture, always, and um, it was always left at his enclosure. Uh, people loved that he was so vocal during holiday lights. Uh, you know, we had people would post and say, you know, I love holiday lights, love, 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 we come every year, but that owl is one of my family's favorites. And, you know, if you look at our Facebook, um, you know, the posts on our Facebook about, about him as well as, as your Facebook, um, you'll just see the incredible amount of caring um, for this owl. And you know, what a great connection to have with, with wildlife and what a great purpose that he served in his life. You know, he touched so many people in 17 years. My goodness, I mean, it's hard to even calculate how many people he touched and Thousands. to make that connection and to make that, you know, that people understand wildlife and love wildlife. I think that is that's that's the whole thing right there isn't it it's the whole thing we were lucky to to be able to be around him well i know that you know we we of course know draco because like you said we've seen him on 17 years at sunrise uh, you know so many times and you've brought him in and so we're just we're sad and uh yeah. I, I know that you and, and the rest of the staff members at, at calm are also sad uh, on his passing as well, but um, again, you know, thanks to Draco uh, for 17 years of education, giving us, our, you know, our local kids uh, some education and some fun as well. So, 
Thank um, you, Alex. Lana Fain, thanks so much for yeah, thanks so much for joining us this morning virtually. Hopefully, we can get together soon, and hopefully, you can bring us an animal in. Uh, you yeah. know, once this is all over. Yeah. So look and forward then to tomorrow that. at eight thirty is when the party starts until about four o'clock. So oh, okay. Spread the word. Don't miss it. It's going to be a fun, good time. It's going to be a good time. All right. Go to the Calm Facebook page for more information. All right, Lana Fain, take care of yourself. Thanks so much. All right, we'll take a look at your forecast.